Hey guys, we're going to continue to talk about MTG collections and now is a really good time to pick up a MTG collection. I have had emails, uh, probably about an email a day, which is pretty good because I normally get an email a week about people wanting to sell their collections and they're pretty reasonable. I mean, obviously there's some price memory, but as long as you show them that you offer a good price, uh, these collections are selling. Now, let's talk about older sets. I think anytime you can buy something that is Urza Saga, Urza's Legacy or older, you should, including the base sets, which I'm gonna turn in right now. I believe this is revised. Um, hmm. Nope, this is fourth edition with uh, one man's <laughs> fourth bird being revised. Birds of Paradise is actually kind of a pricey card. Uh, Fast Bond. It used to be revised and unlimited were not expensive until recently. And unlimited especially. Anytime you can get an unlimited card, you should because it's probably undervalued. Uh, revise is still at that point where so much of it was printed in comparison to unlimited that it still will take some time. But as we get older, cards get destroyed, collections are thrown in the trash can, or they get damaged. Revise is looking good. Two years ago, I told you to jump on the unlimited hype train, which turned out to be exactly correct. I was sending my patrons like unlimited cards that I didn't, that had no value about five years ago. And then one of the patrons told me, hey, you know, this card, I think it was Jayon's Tomb or something like that, is worth like 80 bucks because of old school magic. I was like, no. What? And that was the unlimited version. And then I Googled it and it was selling on TCG Player. Oh, I, I used TCG Player for 80 bucks. And that was kind of the eye opening event for me. Now, Revised is not old school magic, but could I imagine a new format after, you know, that expanded? Yeah, I could. I definitely could imagine a new format that includes Revised. Okay, Copy Artifact is a <laughs> right as of right now it's spiking so the card used to be like ten dollars and now it's like fifty dollars or something like that pretty crazy but revised in my opinion is one of the things that are currently still undervalued and you can buy an old revised set now would be time so when i was talking about buying unlimited it turned out to be exactly true uh, you can watch those videos when I said, oh, these unlimited cards, I didn't know, because I personally didn't know they were valuable. Then I went on and it turned out only a few of them were valuable. And then all of them, I was like, okay, so this tomb is so valuable. Why isn't like this other paladin valuable? And it turned out the paladin was valuable nowadays, which I'm going to show you very soon. Ah, uh, yes, one of my favorites, Demonic Tutor. So as you will probably see, I have lots of tutors. Anytime a tutor comes out, I try to figure out what the bottom looks like, but I never have the bottom. I never buy at the bottom because I don't, there's never, no way for you to predict the exact bottom. So you just have to buy like around the area. And when Demonic Tutor came out, I immediately knew this is a very good card. Even as a little kid, I knew this was a good card. It never got worse, right? It's always been a fantastic card. And again, Demonic Tutor, one of the best cards in the game. Oh, I still have some more Demonic Tutors and another copy artifact. I think I have a playset of copy artifact. Oh, and here's another Fast Bond. So revised, there's still a lot of room for growth uh, because no one is buying it right now. And you might think, oh, well, that's the market price, right? So there's never really a situation where you can buy Apple stock for below market price for Apple stock. You just have to buy Apple stock today, whatever the market price is, and hope it goes up tomorrow. So in my opinion, you know, I, am I surprised the copy artifact went up? No, not really. I mean, it's a good card and it is in revised. I think we're going to go into a very interesting section. Yeah, unlimited. Uh, what is there to say about unlimited except that the cards are really expensive? Even just unlimited planes, unlimited forests is like a dollar plus. And it didn't used to be this way. I'm sure that you can still go to your local game store and maybe they have unlimited lands. 
because the white border used to be very non-pimp, if you will. It's not really something that people wanted at the time. But Unlimited is printed far less than revised. And it does make sense to me that Unlimited, especially the cards that are just in Unlimited for EDH use would be quite pricey. Like IC Manipulator is a very pricey card in Unlimited, as is Manable, as is Basalt. Obviously all of these cards are worth. So this was the card I was talking about. Um, I had sent a Patreon, I think a few of them, I don't even remember. But I, I sent them on. I used to send them unlimited cards. If you believe this, or not. like this is what I'm talking about. I used to send them unlimited cards, and then he told me, "Oh, this card is like eighty bucks or something." I was like, "No, I couldn't believe it." And then when I checked, it was eighty or sixty dollars, whatever it was at the time. And that was the beginning of my thinking, where I'm just like, "Wait a second, this card's not even that good." I understand it's seeing play in old school. I understand it sees play in various decks in the old school format. But I think it's money because it's rare. And obviously you can see that, you know, Illusionary Mask is right here. That's a pretty interesting card as well. Um, there's not much I need to say about Illusionary Mask except it's exactly what you want it to be. It's a card that is, I believe, on a reserve list and it wasn't printed and revised. But even like these cards, like Howling Mine, is worth quite a bit of money. So that's my artifacts. Here are my Blaze of Glory. And here are my great natural selection. So that's when I figured out about two to three years ago when I started making videos. Wait a second, these cards actually have value to them and they came, continue to go up in price and they're not actually that many of them. That's how I feel about Revised right now. Because I'm looking at Copy Artifact, I'm looking at Wheel Fortune, both of them are from Revised and they're both spiking. Which is exactly the same thing that happened with Unlimited. I didn't catch the Unlimited train, I didn't catch the Alpha Beta train, but that train left like a long time ago. I caught the tail end because I was still sending boxes of Unlimited out to my Patreon, or like, you know, you can go check the channel out. Like unlimited swords of plowshare, unlimited demonic tutor. Because I had no idea they were valuable. Well, of course I knew demonic tutor was valuable, but I didn't think that there would be such a big difference between unlimited demonic tutor and revised demonic tutor at the time. And that's why for unlimited, like any of the binders I'm gonna show you this week, I'm not selling anything in those sets. So they go all the way up to Urza's Legacy. And they include Urza Legacy foils, which are you know, obviously one of the first foil sets. I think it is the foil, first foil regular set, and the 7th edition was the first foil core set at the same time. But yeah, you look at this stuff, and you know, it's unlimited. Like, unlimited bolt goes for a ton of money compared to a regular revised bolt. But is it possible that Revise will one day become unlimited? Yeah, I think so. In the next five years, in the next five years, I guess we'll find out, right? Oh, here's a Revise. <laughs> it's an unlimited copy. So the difference, well, I know copy artifacts has been spiking, so its price will stabilize soon. But the difference between a Revised clone and an unlimited clone, there's too big of a difference in my opinion. And Revise, yes, a lot of Revise is printed. Yes, tons and tons are revised. However, it's the next set. Alpha and Beta, if you told me five years ago that Unlimited would be as valuable as today, I would laugh at you because I would say, oh, why don't people just put money in Alpha and Beta? Is because they couldn't afford to, so they bought Unlimited. Unlimited is massively expensive for what it is today. So if you want to copy Artifact, are you going to buy an Unlimited one or are you going to buy a revised one? You're probably going to buy the revised one. Okay, oh, and then Lord of Atlantis. I mean, that card... Even Counterspell is a ton of money in Unlimited. So basically, it's EDH. So there's two things. Is it playable in this format that I still don't actually believe is a real format that's called Old School? Again, I have my questions about this. I have my doubts that this is a real format that can be supported in any meaningful way. Uh, and obviously, Wizard of the Coast does not acknowledge the format. But nonetheless, there's no doubt in my mind that Unlimited is very rare. 
Again, the next set has to be revised, right? Revise was printed into oblivion at the time, but in comparison to today, I mean, was it printed that much to compare today? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, sinkhole is a beautiful card. Uh, oh, mine, yep, yeah, that is a uh, free unlimited mind twist. The difference between a mind twist unlimited and a mind twist revised and like, oh, yeah, vampires and uh, black knights and more vampires. So lots of vampires. I cannot get my hands on unlimited collections anymore. They do not exist. But I can get my hands on unlimited revised. Meaning there's so many people with revised collections and they want to sell and maybe they don't have dual lands. I'm buying those right now because that's the next setup. Now, how long will it take? I think it's going to take a lot longer than it took Unlimited to catch up. But nonetheless, it, I mean, there's tons of it out there, so I don't mind. I don't mind stockpiling it until the day comes. Anyway, bye guys.